हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक यू आर वाचिंग डीएमजी केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंपेयर वर्क डन बिटवीन रिवर्सिबल एंड इन रिवर्सिबल एक्सपेंशन एज वेल एज कंप्रेशन ऑफ ए गैस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल देन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब ओके सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू दैट work of expansion is given by this expression that is minus p external delta v and the work of expansion is also called as work done by the system and work of compression which is also called as work done on the system is given by this expression plus p external delta v so for some time let us ignore these positive and negative signs then the work done will will be equal to p external delta v okay so to compare the work done uh, during this reversible expansion and irreversible expansion we will keep the volume change constant that is delta v constant this means that if initial volume is v1 before expansion then final volume is v2 after expansion uh, in reversible expansion then in irreversible expansion the initial and the final volume will be same then delta v will will be constant okay and if the delta v is constant in both the processes then the work done will depend upon what it will depend upon only external pressure that is p external okay and if p external is more then the work done will be more and if the value of p external is less then we are going to have less work done okay so let us discuss the reversible expansion so what are the requirement for a reversible expansion of or for a reversible process we have to carry out a reversible process very very slowly that is infinitesimally slowly and <clears throat> let us suppose that the internal pressure of the gas is 10 pascal and here we have equilibrium mean to say that if Uh, uh this means that external and internal pressure are equal and system is in equilibrium now to carry out the expansion i have to decrease the external pressure by with small amount very slightly okay only then i am going to have a very slow expansion so let us suppose that i have decreased the external pressure very slightly from 10 to the value 9.999 in this case okay then what will happen the gas will expand slightly very very slightly and suppose the new position of the piston after expansion is here and as we know that equilibrium will be restored again which means that external and internal pressure will become equal and equal to what 9.999 because the external pressure will remain the same and the pressure internal pressure of the gas will decrease so whenever expansion takes place the internal pressure of the gas decreases okay so here again the equilibrium will be restored now to further expand the gas i will decrease the external pressure very slightly suppose now i have decreased the external pressure to very small value 9.998 okay then the gas will again expand very very slowly infinitesimally slowly okay so in this uh, process every step will be carried out very very slowly and by carrying out these steps i will reach the final volume v2 so this is reversible expansion now let us come to irreversible expansion so in case of irreversible expansion we have no restrictions and irreversible process always occurs faster than a reversible process always very fast and there are no restrictions that we have to carry out this process very very slowly okay so let us assume that the internal pressure of the gas is here also 10 pascal and equilibrium is there that is internal and external pressure is again equal now to carry out the irreversible expansion i will decrease the external pressure by a significant amount 
because this process occurs very fast and for the fast expansion value of external pressure has to be less or very less and suppose for the irreversible expansion the external pressure is decreased to 6 atmosphere then what will happen the gas will expand immediately suppose uh, I am supposing that this process is also taking place in small steps. So the new position of the piston will be somewhere, somewhere here. Okay, and suppose that equilibrium is again uh, uh, restored here, and the internal pressure of the gas will become equal to six, and external is at six. Then I will carry out the second step, and in the second step. I will decrease the external pressure by a significant amount to carry out the process fast. So now I have decreased the external pressure to the value 1. Okay, then the gas will expand immediately. So this is how we can carry out a process irreversibly. And by following these steps, we will reach the final volume v, uh, V2. And in this way, the, the irreversible expansion will take place. Now we will compare the external pressures in every step here. So we will find that external pressure is always more in case of reversible expansion. In the first step the value was 9.99 and here for the fast expansion the value was less that is 6. In the second step, the value was 9.998 and here the value is 1. Understood? This means that in case of reversible expansion, the value of external pressure is more than the value of external pressure in case of irreversible expansion. And we are going to have more work because as I said, the work done will depend upon the external pressure. And here I want to add that in case of reversible expansion, this value or these values of pressures, they are maximum values of external pressure for the expansion. So here I can conclude that work done during reversible expansion is greater than the work done during irreversible expansion or the work done the work done during the reversible expansion is maximum because these values of pressure are maximum value of ex external pressure in case of reversible process. Now let us discuss uh, the reversible compression. Okay, and reversible compression is also carried out very slowly because uh, it is the requirement of reversible process. And again, suppose that internal pressure of the gas is 10 Pascal and external is also at 10 Pascal because system is at equilibrium. Okay, now I want to compress the system. Then what I have to do, I have to increase the external pressure. But here again, I have to increase the external pressure by a small amount because the compression has to be infinitesimally slowly. So, uh, so let us suppose I increase the pressure very small value that is 10.001 and the piston will move downward slightly. And suppose this is the new position of the piston here. Okay, and again we will uh, be having equilibrium here and external pressure and internal pressure will become equal. External pressure will remain constant and internal pressure will increase slightly because during compression internal pressure of the gas increases. So both, uh, both the values are equal. Now to carry out the further expansion, now I have to increase the external pressure by very small amount and it will be equal to, suppose that I have increased to 10.002, okay, then I am going to have further compression. 
in this way by following these very very slow steps i will reach from initial volume v1 to the final volume v2 okay so this is how this reversible compression will be carried out now let us discuss the irreversible compression now as i said earlier irreversible compression will occur very fast we have the liberty to compress the gas very fast and for the fast compression we have to increase the external pressure by a significant amount or by a large amount for example here also the internal pressure is supposed 10 pascal and external is also at 10 pascal both are equal now this is a systematic equilibrium and now i will compress this gas irreversibly okay then i have to apply more pressure because this process is going to be fast so suppose i have increased the external pressure to 15 pascal immediately then the piston will move downward fast and suppose the new position of the piston is somewhere here and again here i am supposing that the equilibrium is restored that the external pressure and internal pressure will become equal external will be equal to 15 pascal and internal 10 uh, sorry internal will increase from 10 to 15 okay then to carry out the further compression i will increase the external pressure again from 15 to let us suppose i have increased it up to 20 then the gas will compress further and very fast because we have to carry out the irreversible process very fast and suppose this is the new position of the piston after compression understood so what does it mean it means that during compression the gas is compressed very very fast and these steps are very fast and by following these steps we will reach the final volume that is if initially is v1 then finally is v2 okay and this is how these reversible compression and irreversible compression is carried out okay now what we have to do now we will compare the external pressures at each step you will find that in case of reversible compression value of external pressure is very small whereas in case of irreversible compression value of external pressure is more at every step so this means that work done will be more in case of irreversible compression because we are going to have more uh, or the large value of external pressure in case of this understanding. So I can write here that is work done during reversible compression is less than the work done during irreversible compression okay now further i want to say that these values of external pressure in case of reversible compression they are the minimum values of they are the minimum values of external pressure because reverse uh, reversible process is carried out very slowly and these are the minimum values of external pressure we can have so I can also say that the work done during the reversible compression is minimum. So let us conclude that work done during the reversible expansion is more than work done during irreversible expansion and work done during the reversible expansion is maximum. Whereas the work done in reversible compression is less than work done during irreversible compression and work done in reversible compression is minimum. Okay, so I hope that you might have understood uh, this comparison and uh, thank you for watching my video and please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.